What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If it is the first time you're touching down on this channel, welcome to Small Feet, Big Heat. We talk sneakers, we talk streetwear, and everything in between. Today, I'm coming at y'all with another upcoming hat releases video. If you haven't tapped into the upcoming hat release videos in the past, it's simple. I have a couple of fitted hat releases pulled up on my computer. I'm gonna be giving y'all my first reaction to these drops. Let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna start with Capanova USA. Capanova USA is dropping what they're calling Editor's Choice Part 2. This is releasing August 14th, 1 p.m. Eastern online, noon in store if you live near the Capanova store. Immediately when I saw this photo, I thought, there's no bad hat. Now it is only four hats, but they have a nice little lineup on their hands for this week. Once again, August 14th. That Cincinnati Reds, I think, looks really clean. So for the brown ones, it seems like it's a brown crown, black top bill, red UV with like yellow and maybe some green accents in there. And for the green hat, that athletics is definitely grabbing my attention. And if you know, you know, I don't cop the animal logos too crazy on this channel. But that stomper is definitely one that grabbed my eye. So is the Detroit Tigers. Really, really nice hats coming out of capping over this week. Not too many pictures just yet. They'll probably, you know, upload more the closer we get to August 14th, but definitely worth talking about. I don't know about y'all. Y'all can let me know in the comment section, but it's looking like a spend your money alert on the Capanova drop. Now we're going to move on to For You Caps. They also have a little lineup prepared. These are dropping August 12th. To start off, we have that Philly Athletics. It looks like it's a white crown, maybe a dark purple or like a deep maroon no looks more like a purple to me so i'm just gonna go with that a uh, dark purple on the top bill and the accents the front logo gray uv it's clean and then moving on we have that atlanta braves with the camouflage and orange combination like a neon orange uv camouflage on the crown and top bill I don't have any camouflage hats. Y'all let me know if you have any camouflage hats in your collection. It's just a little loud for me. I think I like camouflage. I got a lot of camouflage jackets, uh, pants, shirts, so on and so forth. But I don't know about a camouflage hat. Just not sure. Now we moving on to the Seattle Mariners. That is a Seattle Mariners logo that I don't think I see too often. That's different. That's different. And then we also have a Swinging Tigers, which is very interesting because if you didn't know, I found out this morning, the Swinging Tiger has been removed from the New Era catalog. The Swinging Tiger and the uh, Dodgers sombrero patch, the All-Star Game sombrero patch. So those two are removed from the New Era catalog. So if you're looking to scoop up any Swinging Tigers or sombrero patches, if that's your thing, you might want to start looking now and, you know, pulling them together. So. We got a two-tone swinging tiger in there that I think probably looks really good. Let's look at some of these other photos. Okay, so we got a better look at the side patches. Not much else, but we can see the front and we can see the side patches. And of course, we have to talk about that alien face cubs. I don't know. I don't know. It just don't look like a bear to me. It looks like an alien. I say it every time, but you know, some people love that front logo to each his own. So if you're into that, there goes that royal crown cubs with the neon green gray uv on that one wow <laughs> that front logo gets me every time now we're gonna move on to hat club hat club first we're gonna talk about these a frames that they dropped because that'll be a real quick uh little segment so the black sandstorm a frames if you wear a frames you know now's your chance to pick up some nice ones some custom colorways they basically put the sandstorms with black as the base color instead of like that khaki tan color. The accent colors are still the same. You still have the pink UV and it's a snapback A-frame instead of the 5950. I don't have any A-frames. I do want to pick up an A-frame just so I can do a side-by-side -side comparison on the channel. Now that I said it out loud, somebody's probably going to do it, but it is what it is. I'm pretty sure somebody's done it um, already, but I do want to pick up one and do like a side-by-side -side comparison just so I can give my thoughts and why I prefer the 5950, but there's a lot of people who watch the channel and I mainly talk about fitted hats, but there's a lot of people who like snapbacks that really watch the channel. I appreciate y'all. Here's a chance to pick up something nice. Hat Club is dropping something a little bit different tomorrow, NFL Pinky. So this is gonna be on the site tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern. Don't sleep, 
don't sleep. A lot of these look really good. The Rams, the Dolphins, and the 49ers on the last slide specifically, those are the ones that grab my attention. Those are fire. I'm still looking for that 49ers from the uh, stone collection that they dropped a little while ago. I haven't seen anybody selling it, but that hat went crazy as well. Really mad at myself that I slept on that. Here's a better look at the Dolphins. Like that two-tone dark teal with the navy and the pink UV. Yo, traditional colors, pink bottoms. Y'all know I just went pinky crazy in the unboxing that I did. If you haven't already seen it, I'll link it at the end of this one. Yeah, a lot of these are goodies, especially if you like NFL hats. According to the caption, these are supposed to be a part of the rotations program, which means, you know, if you don't get it this time, you can get it next time they drop. That'll be great to add. Now, we're gonna move on to Lids Hat Drop. This is their thermal scan pack. Uh, if you haven't watched a lot of the previous videos when I talked about sneakers, thermal scans is like, can't really say like it's a favorite color because it's not a color, but it's a detail that I really like. So, the CPFM sneaker insoles, those are like a thermal scan. I have thermal scan shorts from Eric Emanuel. It's just a color pattern, I guess, that I really do like. The first hat from this collection that caught my eye was the Texas Rangers. I think that patch executes the thermal scan theme the best. Like that patch is crazy. And that's just from that little picture that we can see right now. Maybe they did a, um, like a, a recap video i haven't seen it if they did but yeah the texas rangers that's clean the seattle mariners is also a really good one i think that one has a strong front logo and a strong side patch the washington nationals is cool the diamondbacks eh eh y'all let me know about that one down below in the comment section i do like the rockies and i feel like the rockies out of all of them has the most red in the front logo and i like the contrast between the red and the blue crown, I think it just looks clean. Apparently there are some teams that are not shown here that will be dropping at a later date. So that'll be interesting to see. But for right now, I'm gonna say Texas Rangers, Cubs, Seattle Mariners, Rockies. I like those from this pack the most. And it, it does come with an exclusive pin. So I'm guessing it's like that hand at the, at the top next to exclusive pin, which I think is pretty cool. These release on Friday, lidshatdrop.com, 12 p.m. Eastern on their website. Now we're gonna move on to Just Caps Drop 7. New Era is on a roll. <laughs> They're on a roll. And right off rip, we gotta talk about that Swinging Tiger once again, cause some of y'all be skipping around in the videos, but the Swinging Tiger was removed from the New Era catalog. So if you're looking to pick up any Swinging Tiger hats, now is the time. Two-tone hats, looks like a very dark maroon or dark red on the crown, black top bill, royal blue UV. I like the color combination. I really do with the yellow accents. I think it all works together really well. No side patches on these, but uh, I don't think it needs them. Let's take a look at this Phillies with the flying ball. That pink and yellow pops. Like the contrast between that pink and yellow on the dark crown, it pops. It pops really nicely. We got an Oakland A's. The elephant with the bats and the shades. Atlanta Braves with the tomahawk, the alternate logo. Clean, clean collection coming from New Era. Y'all let me know if you picked anything up down below in the comment section. Cubs is pretty nice too on this one. There's some good hats in here. Cardinals. All right, yeah, don't sleep on a Just Caps Drop 7. Don't sleep on any of the New Era Just Caps Drop. So this is Capsule Hats. They're dropping a movie pack for the week, uh, <laughs> this one's interesting because the hats, I love, love the hats. The hats look great. Execution, top tier as usual. The movies themselves, the inspiration is eh. I don't necessarily care for any of these movies. I could say semi-pro, dodgeball, and Napoleon Dynamite, not bad. But if you would've asked me if I love any of those movies, nah. I don't. So the inspiration on this one, I could kind of care less and it's really just about the hats this time around. And I think every hat looks great. We could go one by one for this one. So first off, we have the Seattle Mariners 40th anniversary side patch. And this one is inspired by Semi Pro. Like I said, I don't care about the inspirations this time around. I think the hat is nice though. Off-white crown, that light blue 
uh, top build, the front logo really grabs your attention. I think the color placement looks really good. The side patch 40th anniversary is one of my favorites when it comes to the Seattle Mariners. That's actually why I bought my first Seattle Mariners from the Hat Club Black Dome collection, just off the strength of that side patch. I really like that side patch. You go crazy with the color placement. It just looks great. Uh, BK Dodgers is what we're going to talk about next. The Brooklyn Dodgers. Where is it at? Is there no solo pick for the Brooklyn Dodgers? I guess not. So the Brooklyn Dodgers is this like dark green crown top bill. Looks like it has a yellow goldish front logo. And there's also some yellow in the side patch. Red, black, some more of that green. Yellow UV on that one. Not bad. Not bad at all. The Braves, is there a solo of the Braves? Yes, another off-white crown, yellow top build. This one I really, really like. Red UV on this one and that side patch, super, super clean. Let's run it back so you can see a better image of that side patch. Capsule hats with the execution. They don't miss. <laughs> they do not miss. Well, I didn't really like that. Uh, need for speed or speedy whatever that was collection a couple weeks ago but it, that wasn't a miss it just wasn't for me next we're going to talk about the red Sox. the red Sox is next on the list this one right here so this one's like a sky blue crown top bill and then it looks like the b the inside of the b may be an olive with a yellow outline yeah olive looks like a brown red i like that one all the hats are really nice this week really nice this is definitely a spend your money alert. The Nationals is another off-white crown. For the people who are trying to get up their two tones, but specifically two tones with off-white crowns, this collection is gonna be great for y'all. Off-white crown, royal you royal top bill. It looks like the interior of that uh, Washington Nationals logo is red, it has a blue outline. Here goes a better look at that side patch. 10 year anniversary on that one. And I think that might have like a little metallic in it. Maybe it's copper metallic or something. I don't know, don't quote me, but looks like it have, might have a little metallic thing going on there. And last but not least, the Diamondbacks, which it seems is like a brown crown, light brown top bill. The inside of the snake is red. And you have some more brown for the outline, yellow, and another color in there that I can't really make out. Might be gray, might be something else. Let's take a better look at that side patch. So you have the snake head with the baseball in it, Diamondbacks, inaugural season side patch. All of the hats are fire. Fire. Next, we're going to talk about Capsule Toronto. They dropped these two hats yesterday, I believe. Yeah, yesterday was Monday. So you have a Phillies and a Toronto Blue Jays. I feel like I've seen that Phillies before. Did they drop that Phillies before? Or maybe it was just, yeah, I think it was the same colorway, different hats. It was like a, a Angels hat that had that same colorway, and I thought it was fire. So, yeah, the Phillies is cold. The Blue Jays is also nice. But that Phillies is cold. This morning, Toppers dropped a bunch of corduroy hats. So for those of y'all that love the corduroy, this is for you. There is a corduroy swinging tiger. And like I said twice in the video already, the swinging tiger has been removed from the New Era catalog. So if you're looking to pick up swinging tigers and you also want a corduroy, you know, there you go. There you go. There's also a Diamondbacks and Atlanta Braves with the alternate logo at Texas Rangers. There's a Marlins in there and a Waving Cubs. I don't know about these. I'm not crazy about them. Toppers does drop heat. It's just the corduroy hats really aren't for me. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this one. People who like the corduroy hats, from what I heard, they look good, but they don't fit good. And they don't necessarily sit on your head well. Y'all can let me know what y'all think about that as well down below in the comment section. Uh, Yeah, I do kind of like the Waving Cubs. I mean... It's all right. Yeah, I'm just not ready to pull the trigger on a corduroy hat yet. Last but not least, I don't know what this Lids collection is called, but it's pink with sky blue accents. Uh, very baby shower-esque, you know, light pink, light, uh, light blue. It's cool, but it just seems a day late and a dollar short. Like, we already seen all the pastels now. I want to see different colors, you know? I want to see different colors. I like pastels, but this just seems like something we've seen before. 
Yeah, it just doesn't look like anything new. The Houston Astros is nice. The Diamondbacks with the snake head and the baseball in its mouth is nice. None of the hats are necessarily bad. The Texas Rangers is very clean. None of the hats are necessarily bad. If you enjoyed today's video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, show a small YouTuber some love, and I will check y'all out in the next one.